Um, I could have fam if people Yo, like do y'all hear her? I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing Black Ops 1, one of the J, bro, the Woe Vicky. Listen to her, listen to her. I ain't talking about you, so... You, that's Woe Vicky, you cannot tell me that's not Woe Vicky. Anyways, what's up guys, Red Wreck here, bringing you guys a Black Ops 1, one in the chamber trick shotting video for today. I don't know why I'm playing Black Ops 1, one in the chamber. I just got bored, I'm like, hey, should I play BO2, MW2? I just wanna make a little commentary, because it's been a while since I just like sat down played call of duty you know free for all whatever it may be and just did like a live commentary i just i haven't done these in a while i used to do them all the time but then i started doing you know the live snd trick shotting and that's where i got big and stuff but every once in a while i'll throw it down with a little commentary so i'm just on bo1 one in the chamber for no reason at all just got bored but yeah i just figured that i wanted to talk about a couple things you know i haven't uploaded in a few days i do feel like every time i make a video hold on let me see if i can get this guy come on this guy's clueless if he turns around Thank you. Okay. Anyways, I feel like every time I make a video, I'm saying that. Sorry for not uploading, but here's the thing. I've been sleeping. Get beasted. I've been sleeping. And when I say sleeping, I literally mean sleeping. I don't know if you guys remember, but the last time I like talked about a couple things. Wait, am I at last? I'm at last. I got to kill this person one time though. And then I can go for trick shots. There you go. Anyways, last time I was kind of talking about stuff. I explained how like my wisdom teeth were hurting. And then I had to take medication. And the medication was like some of the worst medication ever. I literally, like I felt the sickest I had felt in years when I was on the medication. Well, the other day is when I actually got them taken out. And it was actually the first time I was like, I was like put to sleep for surgery. I don't even know. For those of you guys that have never had surgery, you don't know what I'm talking about, but if you've, if you've been put under the knife or put under the laughing gas and put to sleep, it's kind of a weird experience. They, they put the mask on me and then I just, they're, I'm dead. <laughs> like, I just fall right asleep and I, I don't remember anything until I wake up. And apparently it only took them about like 15 minutes to do the whole procedure, which is like insane. Ooh! That's not fair. But yeah, it was kind of a crazy experience. It was the first time I had ever been like put to sleep, you know, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't too bad. I, I wasn't really nervous or scared. It was just like, damn, they really about to do this to me. You know what I mean? But all right, I can't believe it. My one attempt is all I want right now. So as I was saying, fast forward to about a couple of days later, I have to take the same antibiotic that I had to take from before when I got them taken out and then after the surgery, I have to take like the same stuff and I hate it. I, I actually hate it. It's not as bad as the first time I had to take it, but like the same feeling, like this, the, the, the tired, not wanting to get out of bed feeling, that kind of feeling is still there when I take that medication and it absolutely sucks. That's literally like the actual reason I haven't been playing. It's not the new Fortnite season, which is a contributing factor. The new Fortnite season is pretty fun, but it's, it's that damn medication that just does not make me want to do anything. Like, you don't know how hard it was for me to just like hop on Xbox, turn on Black Ops 1 and try to make this video. Like it actually sucks taking this medication, but I don't know, post-surgery, I, ha I have to take it. There's nothing I can do about it. So until I'm done with that, the, I mean, I'm gonna power through it and I'm gonna have consistent uploads, but it just it just really does suck. So if you do notice like my energy my energy level is like not as high, it's it's still pretty high. Like look at look at the way I'm talking right now. But if you guys notice the energy level is a little bit different, that's why. It's it's, it's literally only because of the medication, which absolutely is garbage, but I have to do it anyways. And hello? Nice. I can't win. I just can't win. But yeah, let's kind of get away from that whole like surgery, being sick thing. Like I, I don't, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about bigger and better, happier things. A lot of you guys were asking me a lot of different things. I always get tweets or I always get comments on my YouTube videos, you know, about events like MLG Anaheim and like, or, or like what's going on with Red and all this other stuff. Like you guys are just asking too many questions. Too many questions. So I'm just gonna go through the list. First thing that people ask me, am I going to MLG Anaheim or I don't know. I got some tweets about people asking me about some other events, but I don't know about any other events. The only event that I plan on trying to make it to is MLG Anaheim. And I'm not even positive if I'm gonna be able to make it to that because I have like a lot of stuff going on. I have to be at a wedding in Chicago the weekend before. And then at Anaheim, I, if I'm able to go, once I come back from Anaheim, I have to go on uh, like a weekend 
expe what's the word I'm looking for? I basically volunteer at a church summer camp. So right after MLG Anaheim, I have to come back home and then I have to go up to like Tallahassee or Orlando or wherever they have like the sleepaway thing and I have to be there for a week too. So like those two, three weeks of MLG Anaheim are absolutely insane. Like insane. So that's the only thing I'm not too sure of. Like I want to go to Anaheim really bad, but if that doesn't happen, it's because I have like so many things right before and right after that if, if, if it's too expensive, if, if I just can't find the timing to go, like that's the only thing holding me back from saying that I'll definitely go to Anaheim, but I will most likely try to go to Anaheim. The main problem is that it's gonna cost a lot and a lot of money. And that's where I kind of go into the next thing is about streaming. I've wanted to stream. You guys have wanted me to stream forever forever but because of these uh the youtube network issues that i'm having i'm not too vocal about issues on youtube and stuff like that it's not like i'm making a crap crap ton of money anyways you know the red reserve the red reserve youtube paychecks aren't aren't full time yet you know what i mean but like don't get me wrong guys I make a little bit of money here and there, but I've actually had some really bad issues with the network that I'm with, and I'm, I, I actually just unlinked from them a couple of days ago. Finally, a game starting. But yeah, after I unlinked from them, there's like a couple like, not legal issues, but there's a couple of issues that I got with like getting some of my money and like my PayPal that's linked with them, and they have like control over certain things. I don't know. It's really, get beasted. It's really unconvenient. Come on, three, two, one, your. Damn. <laughs> Anyways, it's really inconvenient, but I have to go through it. Hopefully by next month, I'll be all suited for like with my super chat and everything. Cause that's the main thing. I know a lot of people donate through super chat, especially recently. And I, I just can't do that cause I don't trust the network that I'm with, but I do kind of want to disable super chat and then only donate or only stream through, uh, through having like the PayPal Streamlab donations. And I'll, I know it kind of sounds a little bit, um, how do I say it? It sounds a little bit like. Mr. Krabs, like I'm only talking about streaming for the donations, right? That's not the case at all. I just know that there are a lot of people that really do support what I do and are asking me like, bro, I want you to stream. I want to support you. I want to donate. And like, uh, like people that are actually asking me to stream so that they can donate and all that stuff. So I'm not Mr. Krabs. I don't really care about the money. I don't do it for the money. You know, obviously when I started doing this, there was like no such thing as like a full-time YouTuber when I first started making videos. But anyways, I don't want to make it seem like I, I'm like only talking about streaming for the money, but the money will help if I do want to do things like go to Anaheim and other events, for example. But the reason I brought it up is because if you guys want me to stream, I will try to stream. And now when I do stream, I do really enjoy games like Fortnite and I am really good at it. I would want to stream Fortnite only because I'm like really good at it. Now I know when I upload Fortnite, a lot of people don't like it. Actually, the last video I made, there was a lot of really new, brand new people that are to my channel that actually commented saying that my last Fortnite video helped them. So I don't know when I'm gonna make another Fortnite video. I know a lot of people don't like Fortnite on my channel. They don't want me to upload Fortnite. I don't see it as big as a deal if you stream Fortnite because it's like I'm just streaming it. If you don't want to watch the stream, you don't have to. Obviously, if I upload it, if you don't watch want if you don't want to watch the video, you don't have to watch the video either. You know what I mean? But the thing is, I just I'm not too sure about it. If I if I stream Fortnite, I know I gotta have decent Fortnite streams, especially because like my solo win rate is like really consistent. Like I probably win about half or more than half of my solo games that I play. And then same thing goes with like squads and stuff like that. If I got a good squad, you know, it'll be a really fun, entertaining stream, but I'm just not exactly too sure if I really want to end up streaming Fortnite or not. I don't know how the feedback would be, but I might just try it here and there. But definitely Call of Duty is going to be what I mostly stream or mainly stream when I do start streaming. So yeah, a lot of you guys were asking about that. I just wanted to address that right now. I will be doing that very soon in the near future. Now the last thing, hold on, hold on, three, two, one, and your. Yes. Ah, this guy's coming. Run away. Come on, just stop hiding, bro. What's he doing? Come on, just stop coming barrel stuff. Like. There we go. Not that hard, kid. The last thing I want to address in this video because I've just been getting a lot of people asking me in DMs or on Twitter, just tweeting at me like, hey, 
What's up with Red? Like, there's so much crap going on with Red. Not crap. There's actually really good things that are happening with Red. But there's so much stuff going on with Red and all this, you know, the roster and everything. Yada, yada, yada. I don't get enough tweets about it. And the way I want to answer that is I don't know everything. I'm literally like one of the smaller players in the team. I'm not even a player. I'm technically a YouTuber, content creator, whatever. But I'm one of the smaller guys in the team. So I don't know a whole lot what's going on. I'm in the Red chat. So obviously, I'm able to read a lot of the things that are happening. And I'm in the discords and all the other stuff stuff so i know a little bit about you know the stuff that's going down and there's just changes that are being made you know if people get dropped that's unfortunate but there's just changes that are being made stuff that stuff that is happening and by the way i did get a couple tweets addressing the tweet that was made on the red reserve about like the the youtube requirements obviously if those youtube requirements were believed by everybody I wouldn't be here because I don't have like the 75k YouTube subs or whatever. I know that tweet made a lot of people very upset and I just want to clear the air that that tweet is something that like none of the creators or YouTubers or most of the members in Red really agreed with. That was just something that shouldn't have been tweeted. The apologies were made. They apologized, said they're sorry. Everything is fine with that tweet. But I just didn't want a lot of people to get at the idea that like, oh, look at what Red's turning into. And like, I know a lot of people were just upset by that tweet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they tweeted out that they're looking for creators, but they put like 75K and like they put like high requirements and high numbers for creators to reach. But it's never been about the numbers and everything like that. Obviously, if those like if those were like actual requirements, I wouldn't be in Red. You know, I don't even have 75K subs. I'm just, you know, a YouTuber doing my thing, trying to grow. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just want to address that really quick because a lot of people are like, yo, like, like you're going to stay in red? You're going to leave red after all those like requirements? Are you going to get kicked? I don't know. Hopefully not. But yeah, there's just a lot of confusion about that. And I just wanted to like kind of put my two cents into it. It's, it wasn't it wasn't intended. It wasn't supposed to even be a tweet, but it was. And they apologized and took it down. And that's the end of that tweet. And as far as everything else that's going on with Red, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm just a member. Obviously, like, the leaders and people in higher positions in Red know a bunch of stuff that's, you know, that's going on. But I am very excited because I do feel like there's been small progress being made. And I do feel like there's going to be good things for Red in the future. Hopefully, I'm still in Red in the near future. If not... I don't know. I don't know. What do you want me to do about it? But yeah, the one good thing is that there's a lot of people in red that I hadn't been talking to or that I hadn't had communication with. But recently, I've actually been very more communicative. Is that even a word? I've, I've been talking to a lot of more people in red, you know, on all sides of red, which is actually really cool. So other than that, I don't really want to address and drag on this commentary for too long. I just kind of want to end it off right here. We're going to close it off with a good game of firing range one in the chamber. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to get to last and we're going to hit a shot on Black Ops 1 one in the chamber. But yeah, as far as the commentary goes, I don't want to talk about anything else because then I feel like I'm dragging this. God, shut up. Congratulations. You can get your 18 COD points. God damn it. Black Ops 1 game chat. Just not not the place to make a commentary. Can you be quiet? Thank you. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of the end of everything that I was going to kind of mention. I talked about, you know, the surgery, Anaheim, live streaming, Black Ops 4, Red Reserve, all this other stuff, all these changes that are going to be starting to be made. But yeah, enough talking. Let's get to last and smack a trick shot if this guy doesn't kill me. This guy doesn't kill me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go. This is all you got to do. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, 1 in the chamber. Literally, all you do to get to last, you just camp up here, wait for people to climb up and then kill them. Dude, that dead Dutchman guy is going off. But yeah. Definitely, at least now that I'm up here, I'm going to be able to get some attempts in if they just kill each other and I just camp up here and I'm safe and I go for my trick shots and I'm a happy man. Bro, this is this is like so. What? Wow. Wow. From where? Damn, I didn't even jump off. Wow. Oh, well. Did you see that? We both just missed the knife. That's crazy. All right, guys, so I'm just going to wrap up the video right there. Hope you guys did enjoy. It was more of just a chill video. I just want to talk, you know, I haven't done a commentary in forever, so it kind of felt good to just sit down, play some Call of Duty, talk to you guys over the camera or over the internet. Anyways, I kind of wanted to start something new, and I'm going to tweet it out right now. And if you haven't or not seen the tweet, make sure you're following me on Twitter at RedRec underscore. Because I'll tweet out things like this a lot when I do, like, top plays. But I want to try something new. I want to do, like, a subscriber shot of the day. 
or something like that. It's gonna be like in videos like this where it's not really like a trick shotting live video. It's more of just like a commentary or me just talking or me doing something else. I kind of wanted to do like subscriber shot of the day. I just thought it'd be pretty cool because you guys can send me a clip and then I can still technically have a trick shot in the video but it'll be one of your guys trick shot and then I can link you in the description and it's like you're getting a shout out and it's like it's just cool I don't know it's just cool so yeah I don't know who shot it's gonna be but I'm gonna make the tweet right now for the subscriber shot of the day I'm probably gonna ask for a black ops 1 trick shot since I'm playing black ops 1 but yeah hope you guys enjoy if you did drop a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you're new it's been red wreck and I'll catch you guys later